Welcome to Steve and Dan's Animated Review. I'm Steve and that's Dan and today we're reviewing Scooby-Doo and Kiss Rock and Roll Mystery. Dan, why did you want to review this one? I finally wanted to review a great movie. Alright, this time, and what's greater than Scooby-Doo meeting Gene Simmons? Why did it have to be such an old movie? What do you mean? Scooby-Doo meets Kiss. This is from the 70s, right? Nope, this came out in 2015. Really? Yeah, they wanted to wait until they were both at the height of their powers. Um, right. Anyway, this is by far the best Scooby-Doo movie of the year, which actually means something. Look it up. They make these faster than you could possibly watch them. He's right. This is the 24th Scooby-Doo direct-to-video movie. This means that Scooby-Doo has more films than James Bond, which means Scooby-Doo is better than James Bond. Let's clarify. We're not saying Scooby-Doo is better in every way than James Bond. That's right. Scooby-Doo isn't better than James Bond in every way, just at making movies and being a spy. That's all we're saying that Scooby-Doo would beat James Bond in a fight. In the trailer, Scooby licks Gene Simmons, and Gene Simmons licks him back with his long tongue. That is box office gold. The plot of the movie doesn't matter. It's Scooby-Doo meets Kiss. They could do anything, and it would be amazing. Make a good point. I'm pretty sure that the members of Kiss have superpowers and some sort of super space guitar. Well, we better give the movie a rating. This is the best movie ever. It's the single greatest crossover in movie history. I'll give it a six. What? Teen. Sixteen out of ten best movie. That's more like it. So go buy Scooby-Doo Meets Kiss Rock and Roll Mystery and tell us what your favorite Scooby-Doo movie is. And like, share, and comment on this video. And enjoy the hottest band on earth. See you next time. Bye.